Rocket Punch with their song Boom. Now, I like to see groups having comebacks after they're on a survival show. It is very important to do it very quickly and don't do it like Wuja Sanyo where you do it and then disappear for a year and a half. Don't do it like that. So, Boom by Rocket Punch. I got to learn three of the members of Rocket Punch on the show Queendom Puzzle, which we watched over on Patreon. All of that is up in its entirety, as well as episode zero? I think it's zero or one. I don't. I think I just watched episode one, actually. Uh, and that's up for free if you want to uh, check it out. And I really grew to like a lot of these members. Suyin especially, I thought was so nice and bright. Judy is hilarious. And Yanhee, Yanhee of course, won... Uh, the show. She is in the group of seven that is joining L's Up, and I hope to see them on tour when they do tour, and their first album is out, like, literally in a day. So that's really exciting news, and now it's awesome that they have this comeback to help support the OG group with Boom, Rocket Punch. I only know that song that we checked out for Queen of Puzzle before it started, so I'm still super, like, fresh with them. I don't know much about their music. Let's go. I had I felt a switch up coming when that harder synth came in. Ooh, I do not know you. Or you. This is such an interesting like blend of genre to me. Listen, I like this chorus. It feels very summery until that switch up comes. Oh, we didn't hit it hard that time. God, her vocals. Now it's CLC's Hub Gobbler? The style of this video is so on point. It's ridiculous in a way that I really like. But the song is very catchy. that switch up this switch up sounds almost like right before you get like a black pink drop it's it it only hits one time throughout the song i thought they might do it for the outro here but no hmm, hmm, hmm. 
So it was actually shockingly cutesy, and I wasn't expecting that because I don't remember the song that we checked out prior to Queendom being like that. It was way more like it was retro inspired and kind of synth poppy in some ways. But this was kind of like a, a fun clash of of genre and sound that I really do like in a lot of my girl group songs where it can be very eclectic in just a sometimes uh, turn off your brain and purely enjoy it for what it is and it's fun and bright um, and I liked it for that. It's maybe not what I was expecting, but it's what I wanted in a weird way. I want to listen to this one one more time. Concept wise, I have no idea what's happening here. It looked like a school at first, and then it looked like a giant library mall. It was like a mall library. Um, I don't know where they were exactly. Boom. See, like, it looks like a school, but it's also a mall? The, the schools in Korea look this massive? Looks huge. I mean, it's clearly a school. What a weird, and then it has an atrium with a big, there's schools in Korea that look like that? That looks like a mall in America. She debuts tomorrow. That really deep phase that comes in for the pre-chorus is so nice. The chorus, the lyrics are so sugary. Now this looks like a busking performance. Yeah, the, the, the switch up really doesn't go truly in that it kind of works. It doesn't feel too separated from the rest of the song. I like how that synth leads you into it. Those bunny hats are everywhere. A lot of these members rapping very quickly. You know, sound-wise, it really isn't as eclectic as I, as I initially thought. I think it's more the visuals that are making me feel that way. part of the concept that I'm not getting. It's like they're shooting and attacking buildings that look like cold and prison-like in some ways to reveal the messages, the warmer messages underneath, as if it's like allowing themselves to love. I don't know. Oh, does it say? Oh, it's all people being shitty. It's them attacking those words, I guess. And there's a lot of people being shitty on the internet. Ridiculous in a way that I really like. Yeah, it's so 
palette. It kind of reminds me of something, yeah, like a mix of like early, I don't know, like an early Cherry Bullet and early um, Weekly in some in some ways. Uh, not don't like it as much as the other song that we checked out, which I can't remember the name of already. Uh, that was a bit more like 80s synth throwback, but that's kind of way up my alley. I still think that this is really nice and a fun throwback in this kind of way for this type of song. Maybe not too far removed exactly, but it's still something that your, your, your big girl groups aren't putting out songs like this. So I'm always happy that we have groups that are because I do feel like as we move further on and K-pop becomes more international, this kind of sound maybe is a dying breed in some ways. You still got like them do it. You got Stacey still holding Pat doing some cuter concepts and not just moving on to something like Girl Crush and Mature uh, or whatever. So I, I do kind of like that this exists for that very reason alone, definitely. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts. And if you are interested, like I said, over on uh, on Patreon, we have Queendom Puzzle up there as well. Thank you so much. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you next time.